Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. Now I am going to start the problems on measures of central tendency. Last two videos I have explained you the theoretical part of this topic. The subject is statistics for management. So in this subject, first I have started with the topic measure of central tendency. I have explained you the meaning of the term averages. So why averages are important? What are the characteristics of a good average? And what are the different methods of calculating averages? Like arithmetic mean, median, mode, geometric mean, harmonic mean. Then in the first video I have explained you the complete detail regarding what is arithmetic mean? What are the different formulas? And second video I have explained you about median, quartiles, decile, percentile, mode, geometric mean. So before start watching this video, I expect my viewers to have a complete command on the first two videos. Without understanding the theory, you should not jump to the problem. First of all, you must know the concept, what we are calculating, the meaning, why we are calculating all these things. So now in this video, I'm going to start the problems on measures of central tendency. Before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which are given in the link under my description without having a hard copy problems uh, sheet you cannot be able to understand the solutions so always if you want the complete command if you want to score if you had if you want to have a good confidence on the subject follow my instructions keep the problem sheet ready and then watch the video take a screenshot of the solutions of the first four problems then i'll explain all the points Come on, see the first two problem. The first problem is calculate the arithmetic mean from the following frequency distribution of marks at a test in statistics. So we are required to calculate arithmetic mean of the marks. So marks are given 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And number of students are given. So whenever number of students means frequency. Example 5 marks. 5 marks got by how many students? 20 students are there. So in the whole class, 20 students are there who got 5 marks. Similarly, 43 students are there who got 10 marks. So this frequency distribution is called discrete frequency distribution. It's a discrete series because we are given the x values as marks and number of students are the frequency. And we have to calculate arithmetic mean. So how to calculate C here? Calculation of arithmetic mean. Marks are given in the problem 5, 10, 15, up to 50. Number of students are given in the problem. We denote marks as X and number of students as F frequency. Multiply F into X. F into X. 20 into 5. 100. 43 into 10. 430. Like that you multiply these two values and get the value. Summation FX. Take the total summation effects. 8710 is the total of summation effects. And N is the total of frequency. Remember, capital N is equal to total of frequency. 393. Now remember the formula. Mean is equal to summation effects by N. So 8710 divided by 393. You have to remember this formula of mean. Summation effects by N. So 8710 divided by 393, 22.16, this is the mean, that's all, first problem completed. Now second problem, find the mean from the following frequency distribution, class interval frequency. Here the problem is of continuous series. Whenever class intervals are given, you should think it is a continuous series. So class interval is given, frequencies are given and we have to calculate the mean value. Now we have to calculate mid values. Whenever class intervals are given, we have to find out the mid values. Mid values, how to find out lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. What is the lower limit of the first class? 15. Upper limit 
25. तो 15 प्लस 25 डिवाइडेड बाय 2 यू विल गेट 20. सिमिलरली 25 प्लस 35 डिवाइडेड बाय 2 यू विल गेट 30. 35 प्लस 45 डिवाइडेड बाय 2 यू विल गेट 40. लाइक दिस यू कैलकुलेट द मिड वैल्यूज. नो मल्टीप्लाई एफ इनटू एम एफएम फ्रीक्वेंसी इनटू मिड वैल्यू. 4 into 20, 80. 11 into 30, 330. 19 into 40, 760. So multiply F into M, FM. Take the total of FM, 2010. And the total of the frequency, 50. Now mean formula. The formula for mean is summation FM by N. That is 2010 divided by 50, you will get 40.2. This is the mean value. So first problem, discrete series. Second problem, continuous series. It will not be given in the problem. You have to identify. How to identify? If class intervals are given like this, it is a continuous series. Formula is summation FM by N. If the class intervals are not given, but discrete values are given, separate values are given, X values, then with the formula is summation FX by N. That's it. The two problems I've explained now. Third problem. From the following data, find the missing frequency when the mean is 15.38. So here in this problem, one of the item is missing, frequency is missing and the mean value is given 15.38. Sizes are 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Size we denote it as X and frequency we denote it as F. So we are having X and F. So one frequency is missing, which is one uh, for 10 size frequency is 3, for 12 size frequency is 7. For 14 size, frequency is question mark. We have to find out the frequency of size 14. That is missing. So how to find out the missing frequency? Here you see carefully. Finding the missing frequency, sizes are given 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Frequencies are given 3, 7, M. The missing frequency, I denote it as M. Any alphabet you can use. Anything you can use for our convenience. So I am using the alphabet M for missing frequency and I have to find out to the value of M then 28 5 these are the values given now multiply F into X 10 into 3 30 12 into 7 84 14 into M is 14 M now remember carefully one variable is there and one alphabet is there so 14 into M 14 M 16 into 20, 320, 144, 100. Now add up. Now 7, uh, 3 plus 7 plus 20 plus 8 plus 5. If you add up all the constants, you are getting 43. Plus M. M as it is. We don't know what will be the value of M. We have to find out. So keeping M separate, we add up all the values. We got 43. So 43 plus M. Similarly, here also you add up all the values except to 14 M. Except to 14M, you add up 30 plus 84 plus 320, 144, 100. You'll get 678 plus 14M. That's it. This is summation fx. Now you know the formula for mean. Mean is equal to summation fx by n. Mean is equal to summation fx by n. Mean value is given in the problem 15.38. That is given in the problem. Mean value. And summation fx 678 plus 14M. And n value is 43 by m. Now what I am doing is, I am cross multiplying to find out the value of M. So if I cross multiply this, this numerator is multiplied with this denominator and this numerator is multiplied with this denominator. I will write down by 1. So 15.38 into 43 plus M, a bracket denotes multiplication is equal to 678 plus 14m. Now open the bracket 15.38 into 43, you'll get 661.34 plus 15.38 into m, you'll get 15.38m. I'm multiplying, opening this bracket 15.38 into 43, you are getting this one, 15.38 into m, 15.38m. Right hand side 678 plus 14m into 1 is same, 678 plus 14m. Now, M is there on LHS and M is there on RHS. So, bring both M on LHS. So, this 14M is on RHS. I am bringing it to LHS. Now, first of all, I will open the bracket. I uh, open the bracket. Now, bring this 14M to 
LHS. So keep this 15.38 as it is. 15.38 is on LHS. Keep it as it is. Bring 14M to LHS. So plus 14M will become minus 14M. Keep 678 as it is. Take this 661 to RHS. So plus will become minus. So plus will become minus. Here plus will become minus. If we change the side. Side. So 15.38M minus 14M. You will get 1.38M. 15.38 minus 14. You will get 1.38M. Is equal to 678 minus 661.34. 16.66. So M is equal to 16.66 divided by 1.38. You will get 12.07. So what is this 12.07 M value? So what is M actually the missing frequency? M is the missing frequency and frequency cannot be in fraction. So I am rounding off. Instead of writing 12.07, I am e make it equivalent to. This symbol is equivalent. Equivalent to 12. So frequency, missing frequency is 12. That's it. Next, fourth problem. The arithmetic mean of the following series is 30.5. Again, mean value is given in the problem. Find the missing figure. Here the missing figure is marks. Marks are given 10, 20, question mark, then 40, 50. And the frequencies are all given 8, 10, 20, 15, 7. Previous problem, frequency, frequency was missing. In this problem, all frequencies are given. X value is missing. So whatever is missing, we denote it as M. So again, finding the missing figure, marks X 10, 20, M. Missing is M. Then 40, 50. Frequencies are given in the problem. Multiply 10 into 8, 80. 20 into 10, 200. M into 20 is 20 M. 40 into 15, 600. 50 into 7, 350. Now take the total of frequency, it comes to 60. And here 80 plus 200 plus 600 plus 350. Except this 20 M, add up all the values, you will get 1230. Plus 20 M as it is. Don't add up 1230 plus 20 will be 1250. Because along with 20, there is M attached. We cannot detach this 20 and M. Both are 1. So 1230 plus 20 M. Now we apply the formula. Arithmetic mean is equal to summation fx by n. So 1230 plus 20 m divided by 60. So in place of mean 30.5 given in the problem. 30.5 is equal to 1230 plus 20 m divided by 60. Now make a cross multiplication. So 1230 plus 20 m into 1 is same. 1230 plus 20 m is equal to 30.5 into 60. Numerator is multiplied with the denominator. So here 30.5 into 60, 1830. Now, keep this 20M on LHS and take this 1230 to RHS. So keep 20M as it is, 1830 minus 1230, you will get 600. So 20M is equal to 600, M is equal to 600 by 20, M is equal to 30. So finally, the missing figure, we got the 30. Finished. So in this video, I have explained you four problems on arithmetic mean. Next video, inshallah, I'll start the problems on median. So if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video. Share my channel in your group, in your friend circle, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments on these videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel.